lesson 5.4 logarithm functions so through the lesson 5.3 we learned about exponential function if we know exponential function really well then we can understand log logarithm function easily as well because logarithm and exponential function they are inverse function each other okay so from y equal to b to the x so this is the exponential function general form now let's find out inverse function of this function step one is you switch x and y position then this is going to be x equal to b to the y from here now we want to solve for y but unfortunately it is not impossible to solve for y as it is now fortunately uh, we have one property which the Holland mathematician named John Napier uh, developed which was a logarithm so I'm going to introduce how we um, define inverse function of exponential function so step one you move base to the other side here then this is going to be bx equal to y so far so that is the uh, first generation of inverse function form of exponential function however this indication get really confused because you know some people just write this is the b to the x equal to y or b to the x equal to y so when you look at this one they are really confusing and that they are not same as this notation therefore he put log in front and then that equal to logarithm function and that is the inverse function of exponential function okay then now let's practice how to indicate inverse function here so if we have y equal to 2 to the x then step 1 you switch y and x to each other then become x equal to 2 to the y now you want to solve for y so you are moving the base to the, the other side then this becomes y equal to and then don't forget to put log log to x here so that is the inverse function of y equal to 2 to the x here okay now look carefully what this was this y is actually original exponent right so therefore logarithm form equal to solving for the exponent they are the same meaning here okay so based on this let's switch exponential form to logarithm form here so you know that 2 cube equal to 8 so solve for the exponent then this becomes you're moving 2 to the other side and don't forget log so 3 equal to log base to 8 so when you read it 3 equal to 2 to the third power equal to 8 you can double check like that okay then let's practice some question on page 106 so we want to do number one okay 
write each of the following equation in logarithm forms. So a 5 cubed equal to 125. Again, so you are moving this base to the other side with the log in front. Okay, so this become 3 equal to log base 5, 125. So B, 10 to the negative 2 equal to 0 0.01. So if you do exactly since the what we have done here, then negative 2 equal to log base 10, 0 0.01. Okay, so just one more and then we are going to move next example. So J, 5 to the fourth power equal to 625. So this answer become 4 equal to log base 5, 625. Okay, then what about number 2? Write each of the following equation in exponential form. So look at A here log base 10, 100 equal to 2, so same thing. If you can switch from exponent form to logarithm form, then you can also do vice versa. So moving 10 to the other side and leave 100 alone here, then 100 equal to 10 squared. That's the answer for A. Now, D, log base 10, 0 0.001 equal to negative 3. So this answer also become 0 0.001 equal to 10 to the negative third power. So it's not bad, right? So you can practice other question more. Now let's think about number 3. So if we have log base 3 x equals 2 and then we want to find out what x is. So because unknown value is right here, then you can switch this to exponential form, then you can find the x value. So which you move this base to the other side. Therefore, x equal to 3 squared, which means x equal to 9. Okay? So what about c? C case log x8 equal to negative 3 here, right? Okay, then same thing. You switch to exponential form, then you can find x easily. So still move x to the other side, then you can do 8 equal to x to the negative third power, right? Okay, now in this case, you need to find prime factorization of this number. So, a means 2 times 4 and 2 times 2. Therefore, this become 2 cubed. x to the one, negative third means 1 over x cubed like that. Right? So, cubic, cubic. So, therefore, you can rewrite 2 equal to 1 over x. Right? So, now, just make over 1 and cross multiply and become 2x equal to 1 divided by 2 so x equal to 1 over 2 this case okay